How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing a career simulation for Cody Bellinger, one of baseball's most exciting players to start the season so far. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section which player you guys would like to see next. So right now on screen, you guys are going to see Cody Bellinger's stats to start this season. So when I say he's the most exciting baseball player right now, it really shows through 36 games. He has 52 hits, which is league leading 34 runs again, league leading. So if any stat is um, bolded and italicized, it means he's leading the league in that stat. So he has uh, 14 home runs, 38 RBIs, a batting average of 403, 474 on base percentage, 806 for slugging percentage and an OPS of 1.280. That is unreal to think about that he got off to such a hot start and he's just leading the league in basically every average for batting it's crazy he had a historical april it's just unreal numbers just unfathomable they're like unthinkable and it's just it's crazy to see stuff like that so with that being said i thought why not take a look at baseball's most exciting player and if baseball ended today he would easily be MVP. So let's let's take a look at him. See how he he will do in you know this show. How he would do simulating his career. He's got a potential, 83 overall. We're gonna use him as a right fielder because he. I'm pretty sure this season he's primarily played in the outfield compared to first base. Um, and I know Dave Roberts has come out recently because um, Cody Bellinger had a shoulder injury that they're gonna primarily use him in the outfield rather than first base. So. Um, that's why I feel like it's better to use him at outfield just because it's recently been said that he's going to be sticking to the outfield. So let's take a look at his attributes. 70 contact, 59 versus lefties. So, you know, that could be a little bit better. Power numbers are pretty good with 84, 73. Um, really good fielding stats um, for a right fielder that's normally a first baseman. I'd, I'd say those are pretty good fielding stats. Probably would be suited for a left field spot. But for now, I think he's going to do fine in right field. He's got the hitting stats. And that's kind of what we're really looking at. Can he, you know, pass 200, 300 home runs in a season? Can he get 2,000 hits in a season? Stuff like that. I'm really interested to see where he will finish throughout his career. He's got two years under the belt, a career average of 263. Um, definitely kind of hoping that goes up. But you know what? Let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. We're going to have him hitting in the three hole. Um, just because I think that gives him more at bats, gives him more chance to get involved um, at the plate. So let's see how it goes, and I'll catch you guys at the end of season one. Alrighty, season one finished with the Dodgers finishing the season. I said season twice in that sentence. That was horrible, but they finished it 110 and 52, and they're taking on the winner of the wild card game. So let's take a look at Cody Bellinger's stats. Did he lead the league in anything? Doesn't look like it. So I'm assuming he didn't win an MVP or anything like that. It's looking like Max Muncy had a decent year, but not so much Cody Bellinger. So Cody Bellinger, the CPU moved him down a little bit in the lineup. And that's probably because Justin Turner and Max Muncy had killer seasons. Max Muncy won MVP hitting 276. I mean, Justin Turner had a better year. I got to double check that. that. That's bothering me. Yeah, Max Muncy won MVP. Mm, okay, but um, nope, not Max Muncy. Cody Bellinger, that's who we're talking about today. He's up to an 89. You know, you can see his stats have gone up, uh, especially contact versus varieties went up quite a bit. Now let's take a look at his season stats. A 291 average, 38 home runs, 183 hits, and 104 RBIs. Not, not bad at all. That's actually a huge improvement on pr previous seasons. You know, his average went up about 30 points. He added, what, 13 home runs compared to the previous season, 40 RBIs almost, you know, that's, that's it's actually like 30 RBIs, which is awesome to see, almost 40 hits as well, so a solid improvement from the previous season, and um, it looks like he's going upward at a very, very good rate. So, with that being said, I'll catch you guys at, what, after five seasons from now, so it'll be his eighth season in the major league so i'm kind of interested to see what's going to change from here until then unless the dodgers win a world series and i'll show you guys 
um, what happens. So let's take a look um, before that, before our simulation, if the Dodgers do win a World Series in season one, which they're already taking on the Yankees. So we could see them winning the World Series. They swept the Yankees. So let's see any awards for Bellinger. No, but let's take a look at his his stats for the playoffs 200 average not the best two home runs nine rbis but again that's a world series title for him in season one and uh, really i'm focusing a lot more on the player this time because the dodgers are a team that makes the playoffs almost every single season so i don't want to get bogged down and stopping every season to show you guys world series appearances or anything like that so if they do make a World Series appearance within these next five seasons. I will let you guys know. But um, mostly I want to talk about Cody Bellinger's stats. If he leads the league in anything. If he wins an award or anything like that. So I'll catch you guys if anything massive happens to Cody Bellinger. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at Season 5. In Season 2, the Dodgers lost to the Yankees in the World Series. So basically a rematch of the previous season. And you can see Cody Bellinger was the playoff MVP. So let's take a look at what his stats were. 367 average with seven home runs and 18 RBIs. Let's take a look at his stats for the year. You guys can see he had a pretty big drop off in terms of average RBIs and home runs. His hits went down 30 as well. That's disappointing. It's crazy to think that he had 100 less at bats. No, that's not right. 40 less at bats. Um, as well so it kind of seems like he just kind of had a maybe he got moved lower in the the lineup as well but still you know hits went down home runs rbis and it kind of seems like once you do that your potential goes down too so that's disappointing to see but he's kind of following a trend of a 260 average so i'm kind of hoping he can break out of that and really stick to this season as opposed to this season so i'll see you guys if anything else happens. All righty. Fifth season, the Dodgers didn't make the playoffs. But let's take a look, see if Cody Bellinger had anything. No league leaders. Awards doesn't look like it either. So let's take a look at the team. It's looking like the Dodgers have fallen off just a little bit. Um, not too many names that I remember. Mostly just <laughs> Corey Seager. Maybe Andrew Tolles. That's that's about it from the, the standard. And... Uh, Alex Verdugo, that's Verdugo. That's about it from the standard Dodgers lineup. So let's take a look at Cody Bellinger's stats. 96 overall. Still a potential. His power versus lefties has started to decrease very rapidly. But everything else looks really, really good. Looking at his hits, 167. For the last five years, he's actually been pretty consistent with it. Good amount of doubles. Solid home runs. Pretty consistent along the way with 34 34 32 100 rbis 293 average good on base percentage so to be honest he's been very very consistent the last few years you know 280 plus 100 rbis 30 home runs 167 hits so he's looking like he's really starting to find the prime of his career putting out really good results in terms of hitting run production average on base percentage slugging so if he can continue this, he definitely is going to have some really good numbers by the time he retires. But I don't know with this kind of team if he's going to see too many World Series appearances for the future. But who knows? I think this is his free agent year. So if he signs with a different team, I'll let you know. Otherwise, we're just going to continue going through his career. See what happens. Cody Bellinger is taking his talents to the New York Yankees. An eight-year, $157.9 million deal. I, w I wasn't expecting this one at all. This is this is this is crazy. So where is he gonna play in the lineup? That's kind of interesting to think about. So let's simulate, see where he fits into the lineup at the start of the season, and uh, let's find out. I'm kind of intrigued to see how this is gonna work out. Alrighty, so it's actually looking like Cody Bellinger is gonna play right field for the Yankees. I decided to look where Aaron Judge went. He actually went to the Mets. So that's kind of interesting to think about. But looking at this Yankees team, it looks really good. I'm really interested to see with him hitting third, what his RBIs are going to look like. His average home run production, just how many World Series can he win now? So let's see how this first season with the Yankees goes after signing that massive contract. All right. So in his first season with the Yankees, Cody Bellinger 
is going to the playoffs. Let's see if he had any league leading stats. Um, that's not important to me. I need to see the American League. Um, he was up there in hits. I don't really see his. I don't. I don't see his. Oh wait, 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 wait. I saw something. Uh, he was most RBIs. Okay, so he's up there for RBIs. And I think that's it. I didn't really see his name for anything else. So let's take a look and see how he did. Kind of intrigued now that he had the most RBIs. So he is a 99 overall, 318 average. Ooh, okay. 318 average, 139 RBIs, 46 home runs, and 192 hits. He potentially could have gotten mvp let's take a look he did he won an mvp first season away from the dodgers and in new york so that's kind of interesting how that works out he's looking like he's actually going to be a really good player now even his power versus lefties went up a little bit his power his contact versus lefties went up so it's looking like this these next few years are going to be really nice to see how he does i'm intrigued by it i'll catch you guys this was season six. I'll catch you guys at season 10. Unless anything happens. Um, let's take a look at the playoffs now. They are in the playoffs. So let's just simulate all the way through. See who won the World Series. The Rockies defeated the Indians. So the Indians beat the Yankees. He still could have won a playoff MVP. Let's see. No, he did not. All right. So. That's the first season with the Yankees. Let's 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 see how the rest of the the career pans out. We have back to back MVPs for Cody Bellinger. Let's see if he's won anything else. Hank Aaron Award. Maybe a maybe a Gold Glove. He actually won a Gold Glove last year. Okay. All right. So we missed out on that. Um, I went through league leaders. He didn't lead the league in anything, but it looks it's looking like he is becoming an absolute monster in the MLB. Um, tw so 29 years old now, 190 hits, 47 home runs, 115 RBIs, a 317 average, 403 on base percentage. Man, this is this is getting insane. He didn't have as many RBIs as last year, but still, like the run productions there, a lot of hits. You know, good average on base percentage, slugging, OPS. So his numbers currently, this is our seventh season that we've simmed as well as he had two previous to it so this is season nine i believe yeah because i'm pretty sure he came into the league when he was 20 so these were the first two seasons this was the first one we simmed yeah so this is season nine of his actual career and he has 318 home runs a career average of 287 and almost 1500 hits so the 3000 hits i don't know if he'll be able to hit but he definitely, I could see him hitting uh, 500 home runs in his career. So I'm kind of interested to see how many more years he has in him. Let's let's just keep simming. We'll get to the playoffs right now because they did make the playoffs. Oh, wait, no. The Yankees didn't make the playoffs. What? Wow. He won MVP and they didn't make the playoffs. All right. So there's that. Figured I'd show you guys that he won an MVP award for the second year in a row. On to the next season, next season, next stop point. Alrighty, so in the 10th season, Cody Bellinger is back with another MVP award, which pff, he's just, he's killing it. He's absolutely killing it. So let's take a look at season 10's stats. So it says his overall is starting to decrease at the age of 32. Um, you guys can see here, 159 hits, 54 home runs, 115 rbis a 283 average 379 on base percentage 640 slugging and a 1.019 ops so crazy numbers he's closing in on 2000 hits 443 home runs for his career 1254 rbis and a 286 average so those stats for his career are looking pretty good already 2000 hits um i was saying he you know Probably won't hit 3,000. I'm still kind of sticking to that. He's closing in on 2,000. He definitely will hit that next season. Um, home runs, he should hit 500. I mean, if he continues this up, he could hit 600. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he might. He's been hitting around 30-something, 40-something a season. So 
that's definitely a possibility for 600 home runs in his career let's take a look let's see they are in the playoffs let's see if they win um the world series the yankees were defeated against the angels so they didn't even make it out of the first round so that's unfortunate but again another mvp that's three of the last five years cody bellinger has had an mvp since uh that's just those are just crazy numbers those so of the five years he's been at the yankees three of those years he's won mvp oh man nuts so that is 10 seasons in the book that we've simulated let's see what happens between now and 15. alrighty so we are in the 14th simmed season so this is 16 total for his career and bellinger his contract with the yankees ran out and he's not signed by anybody which is a little intriguing he's 79 overall 36 years old i definitely would have thought some team at least would have signed him so i'm gonna simulate this season see what happens um see if he gets signed by any, anybody but it's looking like he might be done at this point of his career so we'll see well I, I thought about signing him to the dodgers but maybe actually maybe just do it for a season or two you know the team's not that good you know what let's 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 do a season let's see what happens just a season um, the team doesn't look that good anyways, so I'm not too, like, if the team, if the Dodgers were good, I would have, like, not signed them, but they don't, they don't look like they're that good. So we're going to sign Cody Bellinger for a season, see what happens, and um, we'll see how this season ends for his stats. Alrighty, so the season has ended, and these are his final stats. This is season 14. You guys can see he hit 280, had 20 home runs. 167 hits so i mean it's it's really showing these last few years that his overall started to decrease his attributes are really going down and um it's it's kind of tough to see if he'll actually hit that 600 home runs having these last couple seasons really slowed down that number his hits are at 2500 i mean he's put up really good stats for his career but I'm thinking it's really at that point where it's almost over. The Dodgers did make the playoffs this year. So um, a, a little surprise, to be honest. Uh, he, I wasn't expecting that. So let's see, you know, if they if they win the, uh, oh, they've been eliminated from the playoffs. I was going to say if they win the World Series, but it didn't matter. They lost first round and, uh, um, yeah, that's that's a little disappointing. You know, Cody Bellinger is like really fell off very quickly. Like last like three, four seasons, you can just see. Yeah, the last three seasons, he really just kind of nosedived in terms of attributes and everything. So we'll see if he, he gets signed after this season. If not, we'll probably see um, his total stats at the end of the season again and see if he made Hall of Fame or not. Alrighty, in 2036, Cody Bellinger has finally retired. Um, he's down to a 52 overall, has spent the last four seasons in free agency. The last season he played was that one that we signed him to the Dodgers. And you guys can see his stat total here. 546 home runs, 283 average, and 2,572 hits. Um, a good amount of RBIs, 1,588. Walks at 1,308. So, I mean good numbers you know i'm definitely expecting him to be a hall of fame inductee and you guys can see he played 20 years obviously the last four were free agency so he didn't really play but um a total of three mvps all of those with the new york yankees and then obviously that first season that we simulated he won a world series with the dodgers so crazy stat line um pretty impressive and uh, it was just kind of cool to see the career that this like this outfielder, first baseman. He's really like right now in real life, he's playing so well. Will he kind of do similar numbers? Who knows? You know, he definitely has the potential. He's just got to stay consistent and obviously hit above that two 260 mark that he's been sitting at the last two seasons. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, in the comment section, let me know which player you would like to see next. And uh, obviously hit that like button if you enjoyed the career sim. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.